You hunt as a pack, you're responsible for the kill. In this case, you can pretty much call me pack leader. Next, we're in Manteo, North Carolina, for the trial of Michael Brady. The 27-year-old's charged with brutally murdering four corrections employees during a botched escape attempt from the Pasquotank State Prison. Brady's the first of four inmates to stand trial for the gruesome murders carried out using tools stolen from the prison's sewing plant. Hammers, uh, scissors, there was a, like a wooden two by four with some nails it looked like in it. This surveillance video shows Brady, who is already serving a 24-year sentence for the attempted murder of a North Carolina state trooper, setting his plan in motion. By the time cameras pick up the inmates in this stock room, they've already killed two workers. Off camera, Brady starts a fire as a distraction before he and others push a cart loaded with garbage to a loading dock. And then strike again. From inside the prison, employees call 911 as the chaos unfolds. 911, what is the address of your emergency? Uh, Pastor Tank uh, Correctional Institution. We need you guys here right now. Okay. They beat them with hammers and stab them with scissors. They, they beat them with hammers and stab them with scissors. The inmates make it past an interior fence before being captured at gunpoint by officers. On the stand, eyewitnesses described the horrific scene left by Brady and the three other inmates. Crash officers and just people just, for lack of better words, plugging, plugging holes with, with wounds and, gauze, and with gauze. It was like a bloodbath. Um, literally, when I stepped in, I stepped in and I slid trying to get in because the whole, the whole elevator floor was nothing but blood. While watching the graphic surveillance video play out in the courtroom, Brady reportedly never looked away from the screen. That man, Michael Brady, beat that man, George Midget, like he was trying to bust concrete. After a trial that lasted over two weeks, it takes jurors just 35 minutes to return a verdict. We, the jury, unanimously find the defendant, Michael Brady, second to be guilty of first degree murder. Facing life in prison or the possibility of the death penalty, Brady takes the stand as part of the sentencing process. I'm up here, I'm, I'm up here to tell the truth. You can ask me anything you want, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell the truth. How it was, whether it hurts me, whether it helps me, I don't care about that. And sir, you don't believe you're crazy, do you? No, I don't think I'm crazy, no. And you do know the difference between right and wrong? Yes. So you know murder is wrong? Murder is a different name for a death, but yes. At the end of the day, escape versus these people's lives, you chose escape. Yes. Because yeah. your freedom meant more than their lives. Yes. Brady's chilling candor continues when he describes himself as a hot water heater ready to explode at any moment. That's how I am until some big event, whether it's shooting a state trooper, whether it's trying to escape from prison, whether it's a serious fight, whether it's whatever. Once that big event happens, all the pressure's gone. After being caught, Brady claims he tried to provoke officers to end his life. I was trying to get every officer that responded to shoot me, and none of them would. A jury unanimously recommended that the defendant be sentenced to death. Michael Brady now sits on death row in federal prison for the murders of the four corrections employees. Prosecutors have continued to pursue the death penalty for the three other inmates involved in the killings as well.